I know I haven't uploaded like an Ashwa video in about four or five months. All I've been uploading is shorts of like my trade. Which are the same videos that I post on my uh, TikTok. So if you want, you can just go follow the TikTok too. It's Money Seb. That's my NFT that I just bought. Also, go follow me on Twitter. I, I'm like the most active on Twitter. So just follow me on Twitter. It's Money Seb. But with a, instead of a E, it's a 3. I'll put it on the screen somewhere so you can, can see. But yeah, I'm just going to do another Robinhood portfolio. It finally reached $2,000, which last time I did one, I think it was about $1,300 or $1,200, which is about, like, yeah, four or five months ago when I uploaded. But I'm going to give you guys another recap right now. So yeah, I'm going to start screen recording up right now. You're going to pop up. You can see we're down today 1.12%, uh, down $22. But last week we are up 0.15%. We were up at 1.2%, 1%. Yeah, right there. We went up 1.8%, 1 point. Last month we've been up 3.6%. Last three months, 5.2 percent. Year to date, 7.95 percent. I've had this account for one year, but so it's 8.3 percent. It says, and all time we're up 7.93 percent. As you can see, I started this account with 18.72 and 91 cents. But yeah, we're gonna go over my holdings right now. I currently have 1.08 shares of VOO, which is about 409 dollars. That's my Twitter notification. Just don't worry about that. You can just go follow me there, and you can see what it was. But yeah, we're up 7 percent on this. I mainly just have uh, VOO just to like look at the market, like look how the overall market is performing and see my portfolio is beating that, underperforming what it is. That's why I have it as the number one spot here. So it could be like right there. I can just take a little quick glance at it. Under that I have Starbucks. I bought Starbucks because one day I was like, mm, I do buy Starbucks maybe once or twice a week. Let me invest in it, so I bought a share. All the 0 0.3 and all that, that's just dividends to come in. But yeah, we're up 4% almost in this, uh, position right now. I mean, it's my only green one up today. I mean, one of them. But yeah, next is Amazon. We all know what Amazon is and we all have used Amazon probably. So I bought two shares of it. I'm up 12.43% of it and up $22, which in, I mean, it's a win. It's a really good one, actually. That's 10% of, of my portfolio is full of Amazon, which is, I mean, it's good. Amazon is Amazon, you know? I'm not going to say anything else about it. SoFi, okay. I can t I'm going to talk about SoFi for a minute. I'm planning on getting to 100 shares of SoFi right now. I have 30, as you can see. And I'm going to start selling covered calls on it. That's like, I talked about it on Twitter before and on TikTok, but I'm mainly focusing on getting 100 shares of SoFi and then selling covered calls on it. And with those, with the premium of covered calls, I'm buying either more VOO or buying some SCHD or just putting more into SoFi. But SoFi is a long term play for me. You can see I'm down right now 4.5% on it. It's so, if you guys don't know what SoFi is, it's like a new bank. I mean, it's not new. It's a bank. Right now, it's obviously in the red because the student loan things that have been happening. But you can see last month, they're up 8%. Last three months, they're no, up 8%. But yeah, they've been kind of red. You see, they, the all-time has like 25 bucks, I think. Yeah, 25, 14. But I'm holding this for long-term. Also, I know another person that holds SoFi like long-term is JJ Buckner. He's like another YouTuber. I watch him too, but he and he also holds a lot of SoFi. I think that's like a thousand shares, but which is like insane. But you know, one day I'll get up to like two, three hundred shares, hopefully. And apart from that, I have Apple. One share of Apple. Everything else is just dividends. Up fourteen percent on Apple. I wish I would have bought some more Apple when I bought them. So I bought at one forty-five, and now it's at one sixty-seven oh nine. So yeah, but I mean, it's Apple. Apple's never gonna go, you know, out of business. I I think so. They just released their new savings account too, which is even better for them. So yeah, Apple is one of them. After that, we have Google. I have a share of Google that I bought on 91.43. I'm up 14.8% of it. I'm planning on building Google up to 10 shares, like in the future. Maybe like a year, I plan on having this set of 10 shares into Google. But yeah, we're up 14% on it. I have Google here, and I'm probably not going to sell it for 10, 15, 20 years. After that is Tesla. Tesla was just a, let me try this out. Let me try and like go on like a really popular stock. But yeah, Tesla bought for 169 i was up at 1.22 percent on it i can show over here probably last three months i bought out one see i bought out 169 oh god and it w it went from 169 here this little pop up to around 214 which i was up like 20 percent on it after i did that but we're down now two percent on it but we're gonna go up right now it's down eight percent on the day because earnings came out yesterday it did be uh it did be expectations but it still went down for some reason but yeah, down 10% on the week. That's why, it's, you know, we're in the red now. So we have Oxy. If you don't know what Oxy is, it's basically an oil company that pays good dividends. So I have one share of it. And what do my dividends show? 
Oh, because I, I didn't have dividend reinvestment turned on on this on accident. But yeah, I have one share of it, about a 59.57. We're up 3% on it. This is just like a hold. I'm just going to hold this until I find another dividend stock that I want to put my money into. Which I'm thinking of just uh, funneling everything and putting into SCHD. But I'm not sure about that yet. But I'm just going to see. Right now, I'm just going to still hold my Aussie position. Then we have SCHD. One of my favorite uh, ETFs for dividends. You can see a dividend yield is about 3.5%. And it's a bunch of like normal companies like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Chevron, EPS, Rice. And you think, you think people use like the normal stocks. I'm down 0.03% on it. I bought this about a week ago. So it hasn't even had enough time to grow yet. But I'm just going to keep buying some of this. Every week, I'll put like 10, 20 bucks into this mod probably. Because I'm, I'm, de I'm depositing 50 bucks a week into my portfolio and just buying stocks with that. I'm also depositing either 10 to 25 bucks a week into my Roth IRA that I started last week. I'll show you I'll show you some of it later too though. But yeah, right now that's my SCHD position. After that we have Jeppy, which I'm up 0.37%. It's another dividend paying stock. That's why it has 1.13 shares on it. I do like Jeppy. It's just like a premium income company. It's a bunch of Abby, like it says, Progressive Hershey MasterCard. It's, it's about the same thing as SEHD, so I'm thinking of just... It's not the same exact thing, but it's a higher dividend yield. But I'm thinking of funneling everything from Jeppy into SEHD because I believe more into, in SEHD. Even though Jeppy has a higher dividend yield. That's my play on it. PayPal, I wish I never bought PayPal. I'm down 3% on it. I, just, I, don't, I don't know why I bought PayPal. Oh, no, I do know. I was buying some clothes one time, and I'm like, oh, they have PayPal. And I had my credit card give me a 5%... Uh, it's like a quarterly because I have like one of my credit cards that discover it they have like a quarterly uh 5% discount thing off and it was on PayPal and I'm like oh let me just buy it on PayPal so I can get 5% off because it was like 400 bucks I'm like we're gonna get 5% and I bought it I'm like mm, look, PayPal it was fast it was easy I need to put my, my email and my password to log into PayPal so I don't have to put, keep putting my credit card details or anything because it's saved I feel like this is good let me just go buy some PayPal I no I don't I, I want to sell but I'm not going to because I just, I like PayPal, but I don't like PayPal at the same time. So I'm just going to hold it. It's 74 bucks. It's not going to make a difference, you know? But still, I, I wish I didn't buy PayPal. Microsoft. It took me about five weeks to get a full share of Microsoft. But yeah, we finally got Microsoft. We're up 8.6% on it. Amazing, amazing play. When I bought it, when I was averaging into it, I was a max, I was up 14% on it. By the I put more money in, my average cost went up. So the press total return went down. I'm still up 8% on it, $22 on it. I'm happy on the play. Then XLP. LMP is like a consumer uh, ETF. I mean, it says it right there. But yeah, I'm up 5% on it. I also found it um, with Dollar Mike, which he puts like his um, portfolio recap and dividend recap at the end of the month. So I found this with him, and then I just did some research on it. I was like, mm, I think I should invest in it. So I did. After that, we have Upstart. Upstart, I have two shares right now. I used to have about uh, 50 shares, but we kind of kind of sold them because I was trying to I was buying options on it and selling options and I had two option contracts so instead of buying instead of selling two option contracts I would just go here and click sell all because I had two I clicked on my shares instead of actually like options and I clicked sell all and then it was I'm like oh why are my options still here and I looked at my buying power and I had all this buying power I'm like oh sh I sold all my upstart shares so I did that so I'm just I bought two just just have two I'm up 1% on it I was up about 14%, but um, yeah, we were up like right here a bunch, and then it just dumped down. So it happens, you know. But I was, I, I just know next time I have to be more careful on what I do, and I just go into things really fast. But yeah, that's my uh individual like normal uh star account. I might keep doing this like every single month to just like keep you updated, or you can just, I can just make make shorts about it or post on TikTok about it. Like you let me know in the comments what you want to see, you know. But yeah, that's it for the video. And thanks for watching.